All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to create great Google AdWords ads so you can improve your click-through rate, improve your quality scores, because one of the most important factors in quality scores is your ad relevance and also your click-through rate. So creating great AdWords ads is one of the best ways to improve your campaign performance, improve your overall conversion rate, convert cost per conversion, um, so let's get right into it. There's going to be 10 different steps in this video. I'm going to highlight them all at the bottom of the video so uh, you could follow along here. This so one is just going to be organize your campaign. So I have a campaign here. Everything I'm going to be showing you is about is going to be within this campaign. So it's just trying to sell headphones. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're separating out keywords into the best ad groups possible. So you have keywords, you know, people type in buy headphones, cheap headphones, over ear headphones, in ear headphones, you know. Dre headphones, so all these different brands, different styles. You need to do that with your campaign, making sure that you break down uh, keywords into relevant and organized ad groups because creating great ads starts with a very good ad group. So if you just have 100 keywords in the same ad group, it's, it's pretty much impossible to create a really good advertisement because you're not going to have a relevant ad for every single one of those keywords. So break down your, your keywords into you know, I try to do single keyword ad groups. Sometimes you have two or three in there. Um, so that's kind of the first step is just organize your campaign, making sure that you have uh, keywords uh, properly grouped into your ad groups. So I'm going to open up over ear headphones here. And I also have wireless headphones open. And the second thing I want to talk about is you need to have three ads in each ad group. So you can see here for over ear headphones. So I have three different ads here. Uh, it's such an important important way to get better click-through rates is Google can test your ads all at the same time. So running three ads at once is really just the best practice. Um, you can test different uh, headlines. You could test different descriptions, different display URLs. You could even test landing pages. You don't want to test everything at once. So one of the things you can do is just, you know, I have it here. Just keep the same two description lines uh, if you're using expanded text ad. Uh, if you're using responsive search ads, um, so I don't have that available to me now but if you're using responsive search ads just make sure you're filling out four or five uh, different headlines uh, you know two or three different descriptions and just making sure Google can really build the best possible ad for you um, because that's the best way to improve your your click-through rate is just creating different ads and keeping and keep on testing them against each other so uh, number two is just gonna be create three ads per ad group number three a very very simple one so I'm gonna open this ad here uh, one of the things I always do is I capitalize every single word. So just the first letter of every single word I capitalize. Uh, this is just the best practice for click-through rates. Um, so even in the description here, I'll do it. Even in the display URL, you can do it. So we'll come over here. So just, you know, you can capitalize everything here. And capitalization is just a great way to make your ad stand out a little bit. Because if you've ever seen an ad without capitalization, it just looks kind of different on Google AdWords. And people are less likely to click it. So just keep everything capitalized because... You know, even if you just look at it like that, you can just see it does not look as good. Um, so just just making sure that first letter of every single word is capitalized. Okay, so number four is going to be use the keywords from your ad group in the ad. So my ad group here is over ear headphones. So you can see just uh, over ear headphones for sale. Find top rated headphones. We come down to the description line. Shop our website for the best deals on over-ear headphones. You know, we have the top-rated brands for noise-canceling on-ear headphones. So this this ad group has four different keywords in it, on-ear, over-ear headphones, best, best. Um, so making sure that you're matching your advertisement to each of your targeted keywords is the best way. You know, when someone types in over-ear headphones, they want an ad that says over-ear headphones, not just, you know, headphones for sale. So even here with fine top-rated headphones, I can just do fine on-ear headphones. So you can keep using different headlines and seeing what sticks the best, what performs the best. So number five, I'm gonna get out of this advertisement. And we're gonna come over to this one. Actually, I'm gonna do this one here. So five and six are actually gonna to be to use dynamic keyword insertion, which you can see here, and countdowns. So if you open that first bracket, you can insert keyword insertion, countdown, and if functions. Right now, I'm just doing keyword insertion and countdown here. Um, so keyword insertion can take, you know, whatever targeted keyword matched with the user search query, put it right in the first headline. Uh, countdown, you can count down to an actual sale. So you could say, you know, save 15% for and blank three days only. So it's going to say save 15%. So three days, three hours, however long that your sale is going um, are two recent uh, tutorials on our channel go over dynamic keyword insertion and countdown so make sure you check those out if you're not familiar with it 
Um, they're a great way to improve your click-through rate and really serve the most targeted advertisements to people. Um, so uh, five and six is just going to be use dynamic keyword insertion. Um, you could use it in the description line as well. Um, you could use it in different headlines if you want. And number six is use countdown. So countdown, different sales. Creating urgency is a great way to improve your advertisements, uh, especially if you're running a limited time offer. Sometimes I have clients that wonder, you know, how can I improve my results? I always say, you know, create a limited time offer and just see if we can get any type of lift. Even if you're saying, you know, we're going to give you a 10% discount or we're going to give you free shipping over $50 or something like that. So just create some type of offer that, that incentivizes people and you can use it as a countdown in your headline. You can promote it on your website. It's just a great way to get people to actually take that next step and buy. I can tell you I bought a ton of marketing software because you know you sign up for a free trial and eventually they'll send you an offer saying, hey, get 50% get off your first month. So I'm like, all right, I'll try it for a month. So just those little things can get people to take that next step, even if it's a little discount. Um, it's, just, it's just a great way to promote it in your advertisement and you could also use uh, you know countdowns to, to make it really urgent. So number seven is going to be making sure you complete your ads. So adding all the different description lines, adding all the different headlines, using the display path, uh, making sure you have the best final URL here. Obviously, my final URL isn't going to be good for this one, but what I would want to do for each ad group is making sure that each, you know, this would be over ear headphones, you know, send them to a page with just over ear headphones. So um, completing your ads and using all different types of text ad formats that are available to you is a great way to improve your click through rates. Um, the newest type of ad, and we have a video on our channel about this too, is responsive search ads. They're currently rolling out to all advertisers. I don't spend enough in this account to have access to them yet, but if you're spending a lot in your uh, ad account already, you might have access to them. So just look under your text ads, click add a new text ad, and you might have responsive search ads there right next to expanded text ads. But seven is just making sure you're using all different ad formats and that you complete each headline each description, the display path, just making sure you're filling out everything to make it as targeted as possible. Because if you're not using this second description, you're just not taking advantage of the entire advertisement. Um, so making sure you do that is so important. So, you know, number two is three ads per ad group. Number seven is complete all ads, use all formats. So we're gonna click save here and it's gonna say save and create extensions. So I always, tend to add at least two site link extensions to each ad group. Um, and then I'll add call it extensions to my ad groups as well. So um, we have over ear headphones here. So what you could just do is shop over ear headphones. Maybe you offer free shipping, you know, just whatever, whatever makes sense for your business, maybe free shipping over $50, um, you know, save 15% today or you know, this week, whatever it is, and then add call out text for whatever it is. Um, you can even do, you know, or we'll do top headphone brands. And that's it, click save. So now you can see I have over your headphones for sale. Let's come to add extensions here. So you can see I've already created a couple site link extensions. These are added to my ad group. So over ear headphones, you know, wireless headphones. So this is just sending people to the wireless headphones page on my website. I could just do shop over ear headphones, just creating another link for people to click. Um, there's really no downside to it. Um, you can add more ad group site link extensions, but you definitely want to add some to your campaign level. Uh, so I have four ad group level call out extensions. So every time one of my over ear headphones shows i'm going to have shop over your headphones you know some of the offers that we have maybe it's you know wh whether you have these offers or not um and what we're going to also do is click on add new extensions and you want to use campaign level ad extensions too so eight and nine are actually going to be just making sure you have your ad extensions filled out so campaign level ad extensions is number eight number nine is ad group level ad extensions. so i showed you some of the ad group level ones here you can add more to your ad groups but with your campaign, making making sure you have site links for your campaign, call outs for your campaign, structured snippets, call extensions if applicable, you know, message extension, get someone to send you a text message and say, you know, whatever it is, if, if it's applicable to your campaign, then use it. Location, so if you have a physical location, you can put prices here if you want, you can add a promotion if you want, so I would add a promotion here for the 15%. Um, maybe you have a mobile app where people can shop, so encourage downloads when people are uh, searching for your ads on a mobile device. Okay, so coming over here to structured snippet extensions, I'm going to show you a great way to add campaign level ad extensions. So we're going to click add to and instead of ad group, we're going to do campaign. You could also do add it to your account. So if you're just, you know, if 
if you have a few headphones campaigns and you want to just create you know different extensions for your account level you can do that um, i tend to use campaign and ad group level so i'm just going to come to the campaign level we're going to do create new structured snippets english so header type so you can choose from all these different types of headers so you know hotels can use amenities you know colleges can use courses or degree programs we're just going to use styles so we're going to enter all the different headphone styles that we have for sale so you know earbuds over ear um, we could do wireless add a couple more so we'll do noise canceling and maybe we'll do gaming headsets so just the different types of things you have for sale some of the different things you're targeting um, so you could even just pull in the different ad groups here as structured snippets showing the different styles um, but you can see here at the end it shows all these styles at the end so maybe someone's saying you know what i want over ear wireless headphones they know that we have both of those styles and they know that there's probably headphones on our site that have you know that are wireless over ear headphones so clicking save here now we have a structured snippet extension just another way to improve our advertisement so eight and nine is campaign level and ad group level ad extensions if you're not using ad extensions and optimizing them you know for the best possible performance then you're just kind of not not fully taking advantage of all the different features that Google Ads has offered to you. So last but not least is, let's just say you have keyword over ear headphones. Let's say you have an ad group wireless headphones. So you have two different ad groups. And one of the things that people type in is wireless over ear headphones. So the best way to handle that is to create a completely new ad group. Um, as long as you have enough search volume, you might as well create a new ad group. So we have one here, wireless over ear headphones, and then just creating advertisements specifically for what people are typing in so you know i would enter my two description lines here but number 10 is just making sure you're creating new ad groups when there is some crossover between you know two ad groups like there were with this one so if you have wireless headphones best wireless headphones one of the things people might type in is wireless over ear headphones wireless on ear headphones probably Bluetooth over ear headphones. And I would create different ad groups for all those different types of keywords because then you can serve them the most relevant ad that actually you know, gives them an exact match to their search query. So someone types in wireless over ear headphones, I can serve them you know, an ad that you know, says exactly that. I can send them to a landing page that's, you know, that's just wireless over ear headphones. So it's the best way to improve your ads and it's really gonna improve campaign performance because the more you can match each individual search query to an advertisement to a landing page the better your campaigns are going to perform if you have a hundred different keywords in the same ad group and you have you know one ad for that ad group and you're sending them all to the same page it's just you're not taking full advantage of adwords because the best the most important thing you can do is organize your campaigns and understand the keywords that people are typing in and solve those problems as best as possible so with advertisements um, your Google ads have a huge impact on your campaign because they have a huge impact on quality score. So, you know, follow these 10 steps and making sure you're creating great ads will really improve your campaign performance. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comment section. There's plenty of other different ways to improve your ads as well, but these are just 10 really good ways that you can do, you know, almost immediately. So uh, thanks again for watching our video and make sure you subscribe to our channel.